Hello everybody, welcome to another movie review by me, your host, Jason Alea. And today what we'll be reviewing, well, we'll be reviewing a movie that I wanted to review for a very, very long time. Because I think it is well deserved to be reviewed in this channel. And that is Chef, a 2014 movie, which by the way, on a quick side note, I think 2014 was the best year for movies we had in a long time. There are so many great movies there, but it was also a bad time for horror movies. Apart from one, which is The Babadook, all the horror movies that that year were shit. And all the other movies in different genres were good. Yeah, and Chef had won the good one. Now, what is the movie about? Well, it is about a man who is a chef, a very popular chef in a very popular restaurant, who is now starting to go down on his luck. He's been getting a lot of backlash from a reviewer at a restaurant who criticized food, and when he takes note of that, all that bad luck gets worse when he challenges him, threatens him, yells at him, and then he loses his job and money and everything. And, the, and then he decides to start, well, selling food in a food truck with his son, who also has a hard relationship with. And it follows all this family and it is not just okay basically it's just the food porn that's all the movie is it's food porn don't don't watch this movie if you're hungry you'll be more hungry when you watch the movie i'm telling you just go get your food eat up or take your food with you and watch a movie because it's that good. The movie was just great. Not thing that action packed great or awesome great. It's actually a really emotional movie. And this movie rated R, don't go expecting it to be like PG 13 because look at it, it's rated R, okay? I know it looks PG 13, but it's rated R. Because there's lots of shit talk in the movie. There are people cursing and cursing. But apart from that, how is the story? Basically, the director of this movie, also the main character, he balances these two jobs magnificently. The story is great and makes sense on how the chef is going through life because he was very popular but now he's starting to go down to the luck when he, that he gets too overpopular and he gets too confident with his job and loves it too much and i like how you can see the consequences of that happening when you love your job a little bit too much you can start losing the thing that is more important than that in your life like him and his relationship with his son, I buy their relationship. I love how they had a hard time together. Like, John Fiver tried to do so many dad things that he doesn't know how to make his son happy. And when he starts doing his food truck with his son, they had a great relationship, and I buy how they're loving each other. Because the movie takes time to set up characters. And their performances are great. I love Scarlett Johansson, John Favreau, Sofia Vergara, Dustin Hoffman. John Leguizamo, surprisingly, is great in the movie. He's not just a comic relief, even though he kind of is. The comic relief best friend. But he does have a story arc. And he is in the movie so much. That's well deserved, and he's really funny. Like, I'm surprised from him because really, he is not in that many funny movies anymore. 
So I really like him in this movie, so I was happy. And the characters go into my one problem. Sure, the characters are great, they have good performances, and they are set up well. But there are some characters in the movie that I, I wish I could see more. Sure, there's an understanding why, but some of the characters don't have much of a story arc. Particularly Scarlett Johansson and Dustin Hoffman. Both were great in the movie. I love them. I wish I could see more but they're understanding. But they don't have much of a story arc and I'm really disappointed in that. So yeah. Including the second best friend. I don't know what the actor's name is. But he didn't have much of a But I wish I could have seen more of him in the movie. I understand where his character ended, and that's fine. Just that some characters don't have story art, and that is a bit disappointing. The movie's good looking, and finger licking good looking. It is just food everywhere. It makes me want to cook. It, it makes me want to have a job as a cook. And basically, when I watch a movie for the first time, I suddenly decided to get hungry and just eat lots of food for an entire week. That's how good the movie is. I love the characters, even though some of them don't have much of a story arc. I love the look of the movie. The story is great. Um, the performances were great. I loved the, the pacing of the movie. It takes the time to set up certain characters. And the music in the movie is a great soundtrack. It fits well into the type of environment that each character goes to. Because the food truck goes to different states and countries to sell certain foods. And each music fits well into that atmosphere of joy. So yeah, this is a great movie and I strongly suggest that you check it out. I'm going to give Chef an A. Well, as I said, Chef is a solid movie with great performances and great acting and great character, great script, great looks and great mu music, and great everything. Apart from characters not having much of a story arc, which is the only problem with the movie for me. But I strongly suggest that you check this movie out. Thank you guys so much for watching. This weekend, I will release my review for Batman vs. Superman. I'm worried about that movie. I mean, look at the reviews on Rotten Tomatoes and reviews online. Oh, I hope it is not that bad. I hope it's not that bad. Oh, well, this is going to be a tough weekend, guys. This is going to be a tough weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. For Chef, please like, subscribe, comment, and want to see more movie reviews coming out in the future. And, <clears throat> and <clears throat> yeah, that's basically it. Now, see you guys next.